God damn it! What's up? I'm trying to get inside the armory. But I suck at this. I'd love to do it the usual way and blow this door wide open, but Reese doesn't want us to make too much noise. Can you help me? Good job, Rivers. Huh. Bummer. There's barely anything left. Looks like I lost a bet. You mentioned a bet. What'd you mean? Evans has a theory that people here packed and left. I didn't think much of it at first. But an empty armory certainly is a head-scratcher. I guess we've got to keep looking. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to do a sweep of the entire area, but there's a back room on the ground floor that I couldn't get into. It's blocked by a bunch of stuff that I couldn't move. Can you grab Evans and see if the two of you can clear it? Sure. I'll let him know. What do you think about this whole situation? I think it's obvious something fucked up happened here. I'm just mad at myself that I didn't see this coming. How so? Well, whenever Reese gets a direct order from Connor, something's off. I don't know what the deal is between them. They always keep their cards close. So, this happens a lot? More than I'd like it to, that's for sure. I just wish Reese included me since I'm always on these missions anyway. What's Reese like? You've worked with him for a long time. You want to know what Kyle Reese is like? He's like... stone. Or steel. Nothing ever gets to him. For better or worse. What do you mean? This is the first time we've been able to take a minute to ourselves since the failure of our last mission, you know? And he's been up all day trying to figure out our next move. He's able to just disconnect, work himself tirelessly as if nothing happened, even if a lot of shit happened. I'm sure it's because he cares for his people. I'd say that he cares for the mission more than his people. And here I am, trying to hold it together, thinking about the people we lost, and not doing a good job at it. Well, you wanted to know about Reese, not me. That's what he's like. Rivers, report to the communications room when you have a minute. Sergeant, what's going on? Someone used an emergency broadcast system to deliver a message. One of ours? Judging by how inaccurate the message is, it's more likely sent by a civilian. One of our missing residents? That's what we'll need to figure out. It's our best lead so far. Then we're moving out soon? No. We leave at dusk. I don't want us to move around in daylight. Oh, and Rivers? There's something else about that message that concerns me. It's been sent from somewhere inside Bakersfield. Isn't that just on the edge of the Annihilation Line? That's right. We're moving out as soon as it gets dark. Now's the time to rest. Pharaoh mentioned there's a back room nearby that needs checking. Can you help me? She said it's a two-man job. Just let me know when. How did you know we wouldn't find anything in that armory? 
I've been trying to work on the car, but the garage here is missing some tools. The only things still lying around here are what the protocol deems inessential equipment. The things that are supposed to be left behind during an evacuation. Those people were packed and ready to go. Do you think it's safe to stay here? That group of T-600s that we destroyed yesterday is a discontinued infiltration unit. They tend to malfunction. I doubt they're still connected to Skynet, so they couldn't give out our location. We're safe here. Having said that, I don't like the direction we're inching towards. North? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go and see what's in that room. So, is it true, what they said in the car, that you took down a Terminator with your bare hands? It's true. How'd you do that? I didn't even know someone could do that. I was angry. Now focus, we have a job to do. This is it. How do you want to do this? Check what's inside. I'm heading back. Is this where you are? Sarge, I've got a hold of some intel regarding someone who used to live just outside the shelter. Permission to follow the lead. Permission granted. Just remember we don't want to alert Skynet to our presence here. So I need you to move undetected. Copy that. Skynet's eyes on us right now.
doesn't make any sense. Resistance soldiers came to evacuate them? I need to report this to Reese. I found something. A note from someone who witnessed Northridge being evacuated. By what appeared to be resistance soldiers. That's right. That's what I was afraid of. Good job, Rivers. Now that we're certain of what happened here, there's no other way but to follow the signal. Over and out. We've received permission from HQ to follow the signal. Next stop is Bakersfield. That's two hours away from the nearest resistance outpost. So if it gets too heated, there's no chance of support? That's right. Anyone have a problem with that? No, sir. I've got one thing, Sarge. Farrell? Shotgun. Shotgun? I only brought my rifle. Oh. Okay, forget it. This is it. The message was sent from somewhere around here. It wasn't accurate enough to give us the exact location. So to cover more ground, we'll be splitting into two groups. I'll be spotting for Rivers. Evans, you spot for Pharaoh. What exactly are we looking for, sir? Any signs of civilian activity. No one's been in the area for a long time, so report anything you see. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rules of engagement, sir. Fire at will. Let's move out. Rivers, let's go. Where do we start? There used to be a non-military checkpoint at an old command center in this area. That's where I want you to go first. Terminator's 12 o'clock. What do we do? We could let him pass. It's your call. Nice and easy. The building over there is a good vantage point. I'll be able to navigate you from there. Are you sure you're ready to do this on your own? Yes, sir. All right, then. Just keep your radio close. Good luck, Rivers. HK Aerial flying by. We don't have enough firepower to destroy it, so keep an eye on it. If it searchlight spots you, you're out of luck. I'm at the top. I got a good view from here. I can see that the HK could be a problem. Rivers, 
I've noticed something. There's a Skynet antenna not far from your position. I think that HK is part of its surveillance. That's why it keeps popping up. Anything we can do about it? It's too dangerous. These types of facilities usually have their generators deep underground. First, you need a way to get down there. So you're saying I need a rope? I don't think you're hearing me, Rivers. But technically speaking, yeah, you need a rope. Sergeant, I hear a child's voice coming from inside the building. A child? Here? Keep your eyes open. Where are you? I'm over here. Can you hear me?
in one piece. It was stupid. I should have known something was up. That's how the machines operate. They use our humanity against them. Don't beat yourself up, soldier. Just means you're still human. I'm getting closer to that checkpoint. It's out of my building's compromised. I'd like to proceed forward, sir. We need to be sure. Just be careful, Lucas. There's no one here. Take a look around. See if you can find something useful. I found a note about their evacuation plan. It points to that location I've just been to. That's how they knew where to plant the Terminator. Found a rope. So you're really gonna go through with this? Word of warning. Get yourself some sound decoys. The perimeter around the antenna is littered with silverfish. I see a junkyard close by. If you need some scrap metal to craft sound decoys, that's where you'll find it.
a rope. So you're really gonna go through with this? Word of warning, get yourself some sound decoys. The perimeter around the antenna is littered with silverfish. I see a junkyard close by. If you need some scrap metal to craft sound decoys, that's where you'll find it.
Nothing so far. Ariel! Two of them. We need to clip their fucking wings. Where are they heading? I can see them touching down at what looks like a refueling station. You could try sabotaging it if you're up for it. I'm sure Pharaoh and Evans would appreciate that. Just another encoded message. 
Evans, how's it looking on your end? We just noticed some movement. Someone or something was heading your way. We lost sight of it close to the cemetery. Cemetery. I see it. Rivers, I'm marking it on your map. It's close. Heading there now. Watch out. Hostiles approaching the building. The antenna. I see it. Hacking it will grant us control over those surveillance turrets. They're equipped with a second generation of plasma rifle. Strong enough to bring down an HK? That's exactly right.
How do I get inside? There has to be a way down. Keep your eyes open. I see it. I won't be able to hear from you when you get down there, so good luck. I'm at the cemetery. The gate is breached. Approach with caution. Evans must have seen a Terminator. All right, Rivers. Time to pack up and go. Check if there's anything that we could use. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> I hear something. It's coming from a coffin. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Sergeant, I found <sighs> something. <sighs> Are you the one that sent us that message? Yes. Yes, I am. I've been trying to reach you ever since I escaped from the convoy. Rivers, we'll question him later. We need to get him out of there. Yes, sir. Move out. I'm heading your way. All right. Let's move. Coming. Stay low.
It's safe now. Rivers, over here. Follow me. We need to get that man to safety. I've set up an evacuation point this way. Terminators, you stay behind. Rivers, on me. Please, God, don't let them die. I don't want to be left alone anymore. Evacuation route leads through that building. Then let's clear the way. Evans, Pharaoh, we got the package. You're clear to evac. Copy that. We'll be heading out soon. I'll just set a couple more explosives as a parting gift for Skynet, and we'll be on our way. Okay, Rivers. I'll take that man out to safety. If you need some time to look around, then this is it. It's up to you. All right, let's move out. They look just like you guys. Same uniforms, same weapons. We thought we were saved, but they led us to transporters that took us straight to a Terminator factory, with production lines churning out hundreds of them a day. So our missing people are still there? Some. Most of them are in a work camp set up not that far from the factory. Where's that? Further north. How far? I couldn't see. It was dark. It was hard to tell. You know what I'm asking. Was it behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. Yes, it was. Shit. I haven't seen anything like it before. They torch everything in their path. I snuck past it after I broke out of the convoy. The ground was so hot, it melted the soles on my shoes. Did I hear that right? We're crossing the Annihilation Line? That wasn't part of the plan. It was supposed to be a quick recon mission. I haven't decided on anything yet. We're severely unprepared. Are you sure that's where they are? I... What's I, up with him? I don't... I'm not sure. Sir, we have to consider falling back. I've noted your concerns, Corporal. But ultimately, I'll be the one making that decision. Now I need some time to think this through. For now, Farrell, set up the perimeter. Evans. You're first on guard duty. Let's clear our heads. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I'm just tired. I must be seeing things. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm just seeing things. Rivers, do you mind checking on the team? 
I need some time to come up with a plan. You don't sound too happy about what's going on. Why would I be? You've heard Reese. You know what it means. We're crossing the Annihilation Line soon. And what for? To finish a mission that makes absolutely no sense? Did you hear that guy? We're going after people that look like us. Isn't that exactly what that note said? The one that you found in Northridge? We're in over our heads. The team should always come first, not the mission. That's what the Resistance taught me. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. Meeting Connor is not worth all of this. Piece of shit! I think there's someone else you should talk to first. Fucking damn it! Is, uh, everything alright? <sighs> this whole situation has me so wound up, I'm shaking. Not good for handling explosives. You're just tired. You need a break. I'd love to. But since there's no one in a hundred miles of here that can help, I think I'll have to power through. It's too early to start worrying. Reese hasn't decided anything about crossing the Annihilation Line yet. You know what else he's keeping quiet about? How our previous assignment was stupid and bound to fail. Or how truly fucked up it is that we're back in the trenches just hours after our team got decimated. He hasn't mentioned Brooks, Johnson, or Yang. He hasn't mentioned them once, like they never fucking existed. Pharaoh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be snapping at you like that. Let's talk. Yeah, let's. Those were the soldiers that died during that mission, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Except they weren't soldiers, not to me. They were my family. They practically raised me. How so? I enlisted when I was 11. I was assigned to this team of four guys who I was absolutely intimidated by. I was trying to play the tough kid in front of them, you know? Constantly trying to impress them. Looking back, I must have been an endless source of entertainment for them. What kind of things would you do? I would make IEDs out of everything I could get my hands on. One time I turned Johnson's flashlight into a pipe bomb and forgot to tell him. He found out during a scouting mission. I'm told he wasn't too happy about it. With the four of them, I was happy. First time in my life I had someone looking after me. That's what I imagine having a family must be like. Now I'm starting to think that if I get killed, Reese won't even care. He can't look me in the eyes. Hasn't said my name this whole time. It's always corporal, like he doesn't know me. What is your name? It's Charlotte. Anyway, thanks for letting me vent. Sometimes that's all it takes.
Rivers, can I have a word with you? Sir. I wanted to ask your opinion about what we've heard today. What do you really think happened in Northridge? Do you think that some rogue resistance squad cut a deal with Skynet? Decided to deliver an outpost full of civilians in exchange for some special treatment? Or maybe you have a theory of your own regarding what's happened. To me, this looks like the job of Terminators. This is what the infiltration units were made for. We're just now seeing what they're capable of. I was afraid you'd say that. I trust your judgment. You had the most experience with them. Is that all, sir? One last thing. We all know what the deal is with the T-600s. They're easy to spot and their rubbery mugs are not fooling anyone. Well, what about this new model? I'm asking you because you're one of the few people that got a look at them up close and lived. See, so do you think you would know if you were talking to a Terminator? I believe I would, sir. They may look human at first, but they still act like machines. That's what will always give them away. It's good to hear. I'll remember that. That's it for now. Sarge, actually, I've been meaning to tell you something. I think you should talk to Corporal Farrow. It seems to me that she hasn't fully recovered from your previous assignment. I understand. Unfortunately, that'll have to wait. There's still a lot of work ahead before we move out. I don't mean to step out of line, sir, but that may be part of the problem. I see your point, but I can't risk the safety of my team. Preparations have to come first. You can take a break now, soldier. You did a hell of a job today. I don't know, but we're not staying here to find out. Let's go! 